Escape Fragrance back again with another review. Guys, how are you? I'm doing well. I hope that you're doing fine. In today's fragrance review, we're gonna be talking about my top 10 most used fragrances this autumn. I'm gearing up for the winter. I have my sweater on, but these fragrances will cut through the mask that we're all wearing in the outside and everyone's going to compliment you and loving you for wearing these fragrances in this top 10 list video that I have for you. I know you guys love top 10, uh, top 10, top five videos, and I'm not gonna let you down. So stay tuned, let's go roll my music, cause I got something to say. <laughs> Back guys, if you love this content, please hit the thumbs up for me. You're supporting my channel when you do that. Hit the subscribe bell down below there. That way you'll get all my content as soon as I put it out. I'm trying to put one out a week, so I'm gonna continue to build up uh, the frequency uh, as I start getting more fragrances in. I'm starting to, to smell some more. You're gonna get you're gonna get to be the first one to you know get those notices once you subscribe to the channel and always share it with your friends. Now I'm gonna go get right to it because I know that's what you came here for. So I'm gonna deliver as promised. For my first fragrance out of the 10, and this is in no particular order, all right? I have bottles for some of these, I have samples for some of these, I have some decants on some of these, but they're all great fragrances. And I suggest you do the same because some of these fragrances are really expensive, okay? And so if you can't get the bottle or you, you know, you're looking for the right price, it's definitely okay to get a decant of the original fragrance. I always talk about getting original decants. This is no different. And for my first one, I'm going to be talking about John Barbados. Uh, let me go, John Barbados, Dark Rebel. You got some tobacco notes in here. I'm gonna spray it just to remind myself of how good this is. This was one of my first John Barbado fragrances for the winter. Oh my God, when I smell this, this was recommended to me by uh, Big Beer Business. And you know, if you know Big Beer Business, you know he loves this channel. Uh, you know he loves this fragrance. And Dark Rebel has tobacco leaves, you got some resinous woods, you got Jamaican rum, you got leather in here, pepper is just, you know, you got, you got the leather suit, you got the boots, you got the leather pants on. This is like really, you know, really, really good. This performance on this is like, you know, not long, not too long. John Barbados fragrances are not too long lasting, but that's okay. Cause you are going to love to wear this. Now I have a decant sent to me from Sempered. Um, I use it in the, you know, autumn winter. So I still have halfway there, but this is an amazing fragrance. I'm just looking for the right price to buy me a bottle of this. They're, you know, they're going for 40 bucks or something like that. Love this fragrance. I totally, totally recommend it for you guys. So my number 10, again, it's not that it's any, le you know, least favorite of mine, but I do recommend, you know, John Barbados Dark Rebel. Really, really nice. All right, guys, so for my number nine spot, I have Yoko's I Egocentric. Here we go. I decided to go for a 10 ml decant here, sent to me, uh, sold to me by Crystal Fragrances, okay? Yoko's I Egocentric is your Tuscan leather-ish kind of a fragrance. I think I'll be a little bit, I'm gonna say better, not as synthetic, more naturals on this one. And I love naturals. That's why I pay a little bit more or I get the smaller kind cause I'm loving the juice in here. And this is why it's part of my autumn rotation. Okay guys, you have oud, you have saffron, you have the Turkish rose, nothing overpowers anything. It's not the barnyard oud, it's not too much rose. It, you just amazing, amazing at the very top, at the very opening. You're going to love this as you work your way down to the middle. You're gonna have neroli, cedarwood, and cashmere. 
who can't love that? All right, who can't love that? Uh, uh, heart notes there, okay? On the bass, you're going to have your ambers, you're going to have your leather, you're going to have your white musk, and you're gonna have uh, sandalwood as well. So it just gets better, guys. It just gets like amazing, better, greatest. It's like, it's a big mix there. And I think Iokos, whoever the, wh whoever's the perfumer, for this fragrance here, uh, just it's, it just hit it out of the park with this one. This is why it's always going to be on my autumn winter rotation. It's very smoky. I feel confident when I wear it, and you're going to be feeling the same way when you wear this fragrance. All of these fragrances, you're going to feel confident, guys. You're gonna go in, you're gonna walk in the room, and you're going to be noticed, and I love that about it. I like to call attention even, but I don't wanna have to shout for it. As soon as I come in, I always get the attention because I smell great, and these fragrances are doing that for me. So on my number nine is the Yoko's I Ego Centric. Amazing fragrance, look it up. I'm not the only one saying it. All right, so for my number eight spot, again, from the eyes, the house of Ioko, it's Ioko's 1954 I Mirage 23. Um, when I first sampled this fragrance, it blew me away. It was kind of a vintage-ish, because it's got the bergamot, the black currant. I'm sorry, it's bergamot, rosemary, and black currant at the very top. In the middle notes, you're going to have some jasmine, and in the ba base notes, you're going to have ambergris, leather, and vanilla. This is by no means a clone of Aventus. If I'm saying anything, is that this is going to be better. It's in that same line, but it just changes as it goes down a sweet, smoky, it lasts all day. This lasts for me 24 hours. This is not a, a fragrance to be, uh, you know, and I've, you know, and I've used it, you know, and you don't have to use it a lot. And uh, I love this fragrance. You got the cap. Look at that. That's a beautiful. All right. This is an expensive fragrance, but I saved up for this one because I love this one. The juice in here, you see the color in there. It is, you know, you can tell that there's naturals in here. An amazing fragrance for this winter. Um, I love it. I'm going to spray it. There we go. Oh, sweet, fresh, you know, oh man, it just makes me happy. For my number eight spot, Yoko, I Mirage 23. For my number six spot, Initio Rehab, guys. All right, this is, again, similar to Spice Bomb Extreme, except you have more naturals in here. It's, oh Jesus Christ, this is good. <laughs> This is Spice Bomb, but with naturals and cedarwood. It's got those same notes that Spice Bomb has. There's a couple things that you can interchange, but the difference with this one is that the tobacco lasts a lot more. Well, no, the Spice Bomb lasts a whole long too. That's a that's a beast mode fragrance. Um, this is definitely gonna be that way too, but a lot smoother on account of the cedarwood. Same notes here, guys. You got the bergamot for freshness at the very top, and then you have the lavender in there, but you have vanilla with this one, you have also the cedar wood, and it just smells smooth operator, all right? You are a smooth operator when you wear Initio Rehab. Shop it around, sample this fragrance, you're gonna be loving it, and if you're married and you get this fragrance, you might be sharing it with your wife or your girlfriend, all right? Hopefully, you know, you make a wifey after this. Because <laughs> this is an amazing, amazing fragrance. Okay, guys? So similar to Spice Bomb on the niche end, all right? It's just, it's just gonna be even better. Number six spot. For my number fifth spot, guys, we're going to have Inicio's, all right, side effect. It's the purple bottle, guys, all right? Hopefully you guys see that really well there. All right, beautiful, beautiful fragrance, okay? You're gonna have cinnamon in here. Uh, I'm not gonna, you're gonna have cinnamon in here. You're gonna have some rum. You're gonna have some tobacco. You're gonna have some saffron. You're going to have some vanilla, sandalwood, and hedion, okay? This is going to be electrifying. I did my initial side effect review. I'll leave, I'll leave a, uh, a marker up there for you to watch that uh, review. Inicio side effect, okay? 
This is gonna be your boozy fragrance for this autumn winter, okay? You're gonna cut through the breeze with this one, not in a bad way, not in a mancera kind of way. This is gonna be on an elegant, confident, I know how I pick my fragrances type of way, all right? This is an amazing fragrance by Anisio. I vouch for this fragrance. There's no initial fragrance you are not going to like. Later on, I'm gonna be making a video about some samples that I got for other, uh, some other Anisio fragrances that I'm hoping to buy in the future, and I'm sampling them right now. So again, guys, Anisio side effect, boozy, rum, tobacco uh, for this autumn. I've been wearing it. I got nothing but compliments, and uh, I smell like no one else. Uh, in the room when I wore this. I've gotten compliments for both men and women when I wore this and they wanna know what I'm wearing. Do you wanna be noticed that way? Then get the initial side effect, even in sample form, guys. So for my number four spot, guys, I'm gonna come back to uh, finally the designers again, all right? And again, this house is in my fragrance collection. I love this. I love them. I love their fragrances for uh, specifically these two next ones. Uh, for the winner, and this is no other than Replica Jazz Club, all right? As you can tell, I've used it quite a bit. I am trying to source a bottle. The thing with Replica fragrances or Mason Margiela's Replica fragrances is that they could only be gathered at, you know, some fragrance shops like Sephora in them or Ulta. Um, and even online in certain um, in certain vendors, but they're typically at retail. I don't like to pay retail. I like to get them um, uh, on the cheap. Recently, they had a 20% off. They had it for like a day and they took it off. So I'm waiting for them to, you know, hopefully for Black Friday to put this on. That's just my rant, but this fragrance is amazing, guys. All right, try to shop it around. This is, if you can't get an Ishio side effect, then I'm gonna suggest you get Jazz Club. This is not exactly a clone uh, or anything, but it does have some similar notes. I'm gonna read them off to you so you can see and see if you like these notes, all right? You have Neroli, you have Spanish lemon and peppercorn at the top. You have clary sage, vetiver, and rum, okay? And then you have tobacco leaf, vanilla, and styrax at the base notes, okay? This is just like the name is I'm gonna waste the spray here on camera just for you guys so I can remind myself of what it is and this is just an amazing fragrance. Every time I smell this fragrance, I get weak need. Uh, this, is, um, this is just beautiful. I love getting originals like this. I can tell what the fragrance is going for and it's something very nice. I love it for the autumn. Uh, very comfortable, very confident again, makes me feel uh, like I can walk in a room and I'm not gonna smell like everybody else wearing, you know, the other stuff, uh, not mentioned here on this video, but um, hey, this is definitely uh, a man of taste who's gonna wear this or a woman of taste. And uh, definitely very, very nice for the autumn and the winter. Jazz Club is amazing and I'm hoping to get it for 20% off hopefully before Black Friday. For my next one, guys, for the third spot, all right? And as we get closer and closer to the top, I guess uh, we get better and better. And I like to think of this as a better step up from Jazz Club and, uh, and that kind of rum tobacco fragrance. This is no other than Replica by The Fireplace, guys. This one here is a beast of a fragrance. All right, again, trying to shop it around. I don't think I need to buy a bottle just yet, but this one is roasted chestnuts. Whew, you get the wood burning, you know, like burn wood uh, essence here. This is for your really close encounters. You're definitely gonna smell like something went on fire for a little bit, but I think the sweetness of the vanilla and everything else working in this majestical, majestical stunner of a fragrance is, um, it's worth it. Again, 28 bucks at Sephora. You can get the single tube. Um, this has, you know, the, the last few times that I've worn this, um, definitely a compliment getter. Neck nibbler, very close up of a fragrance. When I say close up, I mean, hey, hot and heavy. Get it, guys. This is very good. 
Mason Margiela replica by the fireplace. Amazing. Hey guys, all right, so for my number two fragrance, uh, it's none other than Oud for Greatness, guys. You see it? Beautiful bottle, beautiful design. Uh, this is Oud <sighs> to the 10th power, beast mode of a fragrance. Super confident. This is Oud at another level, guys. Uh, again, the amount of naturals in here. Uh, vanilla, sandalwood, uh, you got neroli here, you got lavender as well. You got a couple of things in here making this a very, very unique fragrance. Um, guys, check out my video. I'm going to leave a, a card up there. It's one of my first videos, kind of a rough thing to watch me uh, at the very beginning. But um, again, this is in my arsenal, will not change. I love Oot for Greatness by Initio. And I suggest you sample the real deal, okay, if you can get it. Um, Crystal always has samples, so I always kind of, you know, steer people that way because they're cheap samples and you can, you know, decide whether you want to get a bottle or not. I'm sure that if she doesn't have it for the price you want, someone else will have it, but at least you would have tested it and know how beautiful this fragrance is. I wear this when I want to feel like a million bucks and, um, it's like the name it's oot for greatness it's just i feel great when i wear it um just try it guys i don't need to hype this more than it's been hyped on fratcom and um you know you can go watch any other video to get more details on this i definitely went uh really far on the details of my initial video of this um just because the presentation the fragrance and the way i feel about this fragrance it's just it's always going to be in my autumn and winter rotation uh, this and many years forward uh, uh, going forward get it simple on my number one spot it's royal crown I just have to show you that there you go beautiful right. fragrance I already made a dent on this see the name in there upper class the cap is majestic stunner of a fragrance you see i've already made some you know use of it i love this fragrance because it makes me feel super confident it makes me feel good it makes me feel like all the naturals in the world were made here were placed in here this has this is extract the parfum so you know the color here i don't think it's gonna be food coloring in here as much i think these are the you know this is due to the amount of naturals in here this is um again a surprise for me of a fragrance i tested it in one of the samples that crystal sent to me big brb vouch on it i think he did a video on it go watch his video for details on this fragrance i am spot on with him in regards to you know in regards to how this fragrance performs smells and is what it is i think um you know you're not gonna be better than the next human being next to you but you're definitely gonna smell better than him when you wear uh, royal crowns upper class now this is on the very expensive side of niche i had to save up a few bucks for this and uh you know i suggest you get some samples maybe do what i did with the ioko uh i ego centric when uh, you know you could get also a uh, a 10 ml decant um and that'll last you for a while this i this is actually a dumb reach for me and um just because it i know if i wear it i'm gonna feel great and i'm not gonna you know and i'm gonna and i'm gonna i'm gonna love smelling great all day with it and getting the wafts that i get as i wear this fragrance all around you can wear this up you can wear this down this is a very classy fragrance if you want to wear a suit for it you're fine if you wear one jeans and you know uh or, or casual wear you're, you're definitely welcome to this is not uh, a super daring fragrance more of a classy gentleman uh, knows what he wants has gone and get it and he's living the the dream he's living the dream and this is how i feel when i wear royal crowns upper class the best one in the lineup thus far for me uh thus uh thus far for me from royal crown um, I'm going to test some others 
and maybe that'll take them down. That'll take this one down, but I doubt it. This is an amazing fragrance. The presentation is to die for. The cap is amazing. All right, it's pretty heavy. And uh, yeah, you could wear it, guys, you know? <laughs> anyway. All right, so that's it, guys. That's it from the kit. These are my 10 fragrances that I've been wearing. I try to give you something that's not Mancera this time around, but I wanted to give you a top 10 that, you know, encompassed, you know, something niche, something super niche, something very designer, something super great designer, such as Spice Bomb Extreme. I think these, any of these that you get are going to be amazing. Even if you just get one of these, this is definitely, all of these are good for your, uh, for your collecting uh, autumn, winter, fragrance arsenal uh as i like to call it all right guys hit the thumbs up hit the subscribe button down below and share the love uh with someone who loves to uh get into frags just as you do such as i do and uh you know as i always do bye <laughs> thank you guys